is Munson with Munson Music with a really quick, just open-ended songwriting idea. And I know when I first started uh, writing songs myself, actually I got really into moving shapes around and, and playing around with drop D a lot. So randomly, this is uh, kind of a, a lesson about how you can kind of approach the guitar as, as a drop D instrument to kind of play around and see what you can say with it. So one, one thing you could do is, first of all, if you're not familiar with drop D, um, normally we tune the guitar. E, A, D, G, B, E, E is kind of your standard tuning. And so what you want to do to get to drop D is you take the low E string and then you loosen it up just a little bit, that first tuner on, on your left, to get down to a drop D idea. So now you got kind of a D, A, D, and it should sound like somewhere, somewhere over the rainbow. What it does is it gives you a drone idea on the low D and A and D strings. And so that, that's kind of like a power chord idea if you're familiar with, with rock stuff. You've got kind of that D, A, D. And you could follow scales with that on those low three strings. We're, we're almost using like one finger chord ideas actually. Kind of like second fret would kind of be your, your E note. And if we were going to do a D major scale round, um, we would go to fourth fret for an F sharp note. follow the major scale we'd have ninth fret for a P note and then this will sound funky it's kind of the seventh for the C sharp and then twelfth for the D so if you wanted to kind of do re mi fa so la ti do you'd have it on those low strings now we're gonna open to second to fourth to fifth to seventh um, ninth to eleventh to twelfth but a little bit cooler way of thinking about that scale actually is as numbers and there's seven notes in the scale so you can think about it as kind of one, and then two, and then three, and then four, five, six, seven, and then one. It's kind of the dividing of the scale is kind of a ruler idea. So there are lots of things you could play around with, even just kind of working one finger power chord stuff, kind of regular drop and stuff, kind of making up legs. scale does is you flat the third, the sixth, and the seventh of the scale. So now you'd be going from the opens to the second fret for the, for the two, <laughs> but then the third fret for a flat three, and then fifth fret for your four, seventh fret for your five, but then you go to eighth fret for kind of a flat six idea, and then tenth fret for a flat seven idea, and then back to the twelve for the, for the root idea. So you could kind of follow that if you're kind of in a sadder
in that scale, actually, because of the, the way that the, the do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, or the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven works, you end up with different chords, or the same order of chords, actually, no matter what key you're in. Um, so the first chord ends up being a major chord. That's our one chord, it's kind of our D major chord. And then from the D, actually, what can be kind of cool is you can do a little E minor shape. By kind of taking that shape, and if you slide it over two frets, right, that would be an E major chord uh, kind of deal. And we're off the drone idea, it's almost like playing guitar like dulcimer or something. Um, but then you, you can kind of put the, the first finger and go to the high E third, second finger on the G string fourth, kind of leaving the third finger on the B fifth fret for like a little E minor chord, kind of what we're playing on the top three strings. So you got a D major chord. And then we slide that over and make it a minor shape. And actually, those are cool shapes to look at, actually, kind of that, uh, on the D major, we're playing the fifth of the chord, the root of the chord, and the third of the chord, an A and a D and an F sharp note. On the E minor chord, we're playing a B note and an E note and a G note. But now, shape-wise, it looks like a five, and then a root, and then a flat three. So that's what the, that flat third looks like on the top two strings, that third fret, the fifth fret. Um, so you got kind of a major third, minor third kind of on the top, and then we kind of have the second finger kind of fall on the fifth of the chord, if you kind of familiar with those chord shapes, or if you've seen some, some videos on those. Um, and then from there, from the E minor chord, we'd have an F sharp minor chord. You can kind of take that shape, kind of that, that three, four, five, and now we'd be sliding it up to five, six, and seven, same shape, and it's still a D minor shape. But now we're working off of 5th, 6th, and 7th fret. It's a little F sharp minor chord. And then from that 3 chord in the key, right, B major is the 1, E minor is the 2, F sharp minor is the 3, we'd be going to another D major shape. So you can kind of set up your D major, but from 7 on the G, 7 on the high E, 3rd finger on the 8th on the B, it's a little G major chord on the top three strings, kind of, kind of a D and a G and a B note. And then if you take that shape, it's kind of our 4 chord. We slide that over two frets, kind of a, now we have an A major chord, kind of playing an E and an A and a C sharp. Kind of a big A major idea is kind of our five chord. And then from there, we only have two more shapes, people. Um, we'll be going back to kind of that D minor shape. But now going from 10th fret on the high E, 11 on the G, third finger on the B string on the 12th fret for a, a little B minor chord. It's kind of our sixth chord, kind of playing F sharps, Bs, and Ds thing happens because then we go to a diminished chord oh my gosh and a diminished chord uh it will be playing a c sharp diminished we'll be doing 12 on the g 12 on the high e and then 14 on the b which is a nasty little uh cool nasty chord uh, now we're playing a g and a c sharp and an e note is kind of our flat five and a root and a flat three that's kind of the, how you make the diminished chord and then from there we'd be going back to our D major shape, and now kind of 14 and 15. So those are your chords in the key of D major. So you have kind of your D major is the one, E minor is the two, F sharp minor is the three, G major is the four, A major is the five, B minor is the six, C sharp diminished is the seven, and then D major is your one chord again. So it can be kind of cool to use those chord shapes to make up ideas, kind of like we were talking about like, with just the scale ideas on the low strings. So you can even just kind of take a strum pattern that you like. And actually, there's a couple different ones that, that I'm using, and I, I use these in a lot of videos. You can do just downs, or you can try down, down, up, up, down, up. It's kind of one of my favorite patterns. Or I really gravitate towards 16th patterns with this kind of a down, 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 up, up, down, down.
what those sounds like. And you're kind of following that, that high E string. It's kind of your melody note, actually, which is kind of cool to kind of work in the third as the melody around those chords. It's kind of F sharp. And for the F sharp minor, you got the A on the high E. You got the B on the high E. And you got the C sharp on the high E. The minor, you got the D. So it's like you got a little melody in there. Though actually, but right now we're working the D major scenario for the chords. Now, if you're digging on the D minor idea, right? If you're really in a sad mood, you're like, man, this is way too happy. Man. Um, you could work this off a D minor scenario, um, where D minor, if when the, the normally if, if your major scale was number one, your minor scale is to be found on number six um, of the scale. So this is a little weird, but where D is the six. E would be the seven and F would be the one. <laughs> so, so, you could, so it's basically chords in F major, if, if you're familiar with, with chords in F major. Um, so you could start out with the D minor chord, kind of the first fret on the high E, second fret on the G, third fret on the B string, D minor chord. And since that's the sixth chord, that's what it used to be B minor for us in D major. Oh my gosh. Um, so D minor, um, and that same order applies. Um, but now we're starting on the sixth chord. So weird but then you'd be going to an E diminished chord um, where you could do third on the G third on the high E fifth on the B string oh nasty cool it's kind of an E diminished um, and then from there we'd be going to D or an F major would be our one actually so this is kind of our sixth chord D minor to the E diminished is our seven and then now we'd be on the D shape that we were using for an F major chord so we got fifth fret on the G fifth on the high E sixth fret on <laughs> um, it would be your one chord. So your two chord would be a G minor chord, um, where, where you'd have the sixth on the high E, seven on the G, and then eighth fret on the B string. It's kind of your, your D and G and B flat so a G minor chord. Then if you take that shape and slide it over two frets, that's your three chord. It's an A minor chord playing an E and a C and a and a, and a or an E and an A and a C on ninth fret, tenth fret, and then. Eight, uh, eight fret. And then from there, then we'd be going to the back of the D major shape for a B flat, which is now our four chord. So we got one on the G10, second finger on the high E10, third finger on the B11, B flat major. And then if you take that shape and slide it over two frets, then that's our C major. So it's kind of a G, C, and E. Kind of work in the 12th and 13th frets. And then from there, then we'd be back to our D minor shape. 13 on the high E, 14 on the G, 15 on the B string, for the D minor. So that's your minor chord scenario, order of the chords in, in a minor key. It kind of starts out with the minor, D minor. And, and you can think about this in, in relationship to major. This is our sixth chord. The E diminished is our seventh. F major is our one. G minor is our two. A minor is our three. B flat major is our four. D major is our five, and then D minor is our six. But the way your ear 
here may, may, may hear this because you got all that D drone going on, is you're going to hear the D minor as the one chord, right? That's almost at rest. Um, and then you may hear the E diminished as your two chord. The F major is your three chord. Big major three. And then we have a minor four. And then a minor five. And then a major six. And then a major seven. And then back to the minor one. So in relationship to the key, you may want to think about it as the one chord. between them. ideas, write them down, practice them a whole bunch, practice them until words come to you, and then blam, a song. So, so you can play around with chords idea in the key.
if that helps kind of give you some ideas as to how you might want to t want to play around with the guitar and kind of see what you can say with it, and then that way you can turn it into into songs for yourself and play for your friends and have a great time. So best of luck. <laughs>